hey parents and grandparents, we want to talk about how we can make an impact in our kids to see them love Jesus and love people and make an impact in this world. Sometimes it can be a really hard thing to figure out what do I need to be doing? What resources do I need to be looking at? I want to give you five resources that I've looked at that I've implemented in my life um, in our family's home. Let's check it out. Resource number five is AXIS. AXIS is a gospel center company that seeks to resource parents and church leaders as to what is going on in the world of preteens and teenagers today. What's going on in their culture? What's going on in their world? AXIS has an awesome opportunity for you to be able to sign up for their free newsletter that's called the Culture Translator, where on a regular basis, they send you information as to what's going on in culture and how you as a parent can respond and can lead your child to really look at this from a gospel framework. We also have a subscription as a church. So if there's something that you uh, want to talk about with your student, something that you have a question about, you're like, hey, I've got this topic. We can get you that information. Just reach out to us and let us know, and we can get you a uh, more detailed um, more detailed resource from Access around some of these topics that are very pertinent to your student today. Resource number four, Seeds Family Worship. You and I both know that we remember songs much more than we remember just words, um, a lecture, a sermon. Seeds Family Worship has taken scripture and has put it to music in a way that is engaging for kids and not obnoxious for parents most of the time. They're on Spotify, uh, they're on YouTube, uh, they're Apple Music, all of these different platforms. Next time you're going down the road, uh, find a song, uh, listen to that for like a week with your kids, two weeks with your kids, and see if they don't pick up on those verses and God begins to uh, take those, those verses, put them in their minds so that then it would get to their hearts. Resource number three, it's come out pretty recently, but it's something that my family has integrated and it's been really helpful. I want to share it with you. It's called Family Plan. It allows you to look at each day. Uh, but then it also allows you to ask questions like, how will we reset and refresh this weekend? What's our word of the week? Maybe it's gratitude. Maybe it's joy. Maybe that's a place for you to even put your memory verse in. It also has a prayer list. Who can we be praying for? What can we be praying about? It's got a meal plan, grocery list, chores and to-dos, projects and rewards. It allows you to implement a lot of the things that you want to do as a parent because you've planned it out on the front end and everybody's on the same page, using our time well, family plan. I would encourage you to check this out. Um, it's a great resource. Resource number two, I'm gonna be honest, a little bit selfish here uh, because it's a resource that we wrote as uh, Mercy Hill Kids Ministry a few years ago. It's our gospel conversation guide. Uh, we get asked so many times by parents, such a great question is, hey, my kid is interested in things of the Lord. I had a conversation with my kid about the gospel, but, I, but I'm not really sure. Are they ready to place faith in Christ? What does this even look like? How do we have these conversations? But the gospel conversation guide is really set up in two ways. It's set up for ongoing gospel conversations at different stages of life. How do you talk with your toddler about the gospel? How do you talk with your fifth grader uh, about the gospel? What are they thinking? Um, how do they process things? And then the second section is, how do you walk your child through a faith decision? This is a question we get asked a ton by parents. And so what we've done is we've got this all listed out here. Um, they're interrogative questions for you to ask your child um, to be able to understand, do they comprehend um, the gospel? Do they comprehend the truths of the gospel? And do they believe? We're not asking kids to regurgitate information. We're asking to see what God is doing, what their understanding is, um, and be able to lead them and guide them through that process to see what God is doing in their heart. Our Gospel Conversation Guide can be found on our website, uh, Family Resource Center. You can find it in the notes too. Uh, and we would love for you to check this out digitally. You can also find a hard copy at our campuses. All right, we finally made it. Resource number one, Parenting by Paul David Tripp. This is the only book that I put in this. Obviously, the Bible is the number one resource, but um, I wasn't including that in this list. So now I'll tell you, if you're looking for like, hey, here's six steps to incredible parenting, that is not this book, okay? This book, and the reason why I love it, the reason that we give it to so many parents um, is because this book talks about the heart of parenting. It talks about a framework for how we think about parenting. What is our perspective? What is the heart behind it? Because I'll tell you, you can do all the right things, but if our hearts are not in the right place, thinking about it rightly and biblically, it doesn't matter if we checked all the boxes because we're not going to be able to parent well if our heart posture is not where God wants it to be. All right, parents, grandparents, that's the end of our top five. We hope that this video has been really helpful to you. If it has, you can check out those resources in the notes.
like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications, share this on social media with someone else so that they would be able to hear the resources that we're offering at Mercy Hill. We want to be able to resource you as parents to be the primary disciple makers in your home to make an impact for generations to come.